So you post the content on social media, but your DMs are going crazy on Instagram and Facebook. If that's happening, then watch the rest of this video. What's going on? My name's Rock, CEO of Rocket Business and Libris. And if you love everything, digital marketing, social media, automation, and online business, then this is the place to be. So today we're going to talk about messenger marketing. Messenger marketing is taking a chat bot and using it to engage with your ideal customers on interfaces like Facebook and Instagram. This is highly important for three distinct reasons. Reason number one, it increases customer engagement. The more people you have engaging in your DMs, the more likely they are to move down the sales process. Number two, you can create some highly personalized messaging. For example, if you run a product-based business and you create two specific product types, depending on the message they tap, they can get follow-up messages based on the original one that they selected. So now you're giving them a tailor-made experience specific for them. And three is automation. How many times have you seen someone post a call to action saying, comment grow for my X, Y, and Z course, only to never get it. This is because they don't have the right automation in place. And they're probably sitting down somewhere DMing people individually for about an hour, hour and a half. If you want to streamline this process and you want to know the software I use to kind of automate everything when it comes to my DMs, then watch the second half of this video, you in for a treat. All right, so now we are on our ManyChat dashboard. In order for you to kind of use ManyChat in the best way possible, you need to make a pro account, which once you do a free trial, it's like one click and then you pay the 15 bucks and then you're good to go. So one way that I like to use ManyChat is for surveys and applications. So if you're in the service-based business, this is great because now you can qualify leads without having to physically ask questions. So I'm at the home screen and then the next step I go to automation and then I go to new flow, this blue button at the top. And then from here, I would normally start from scratch. So the trigger to spawn this action can be anything. If, do you want them to DM you a keyword? Do you want them to leave a comment on the piece of content? Whatever that may be, you this has to be this first piece of the puzzle. So when I click it, I will go to Instagram, and in Instagram, you have four offers. You have Instagram keyword, Instagram comments, Instagram story reply, and live comments. Meaning if you go on IG live, someone comments on a video, boom. You can also immediately send them the message for this survey. So just for the fun of it, let's go to IG live comments. Now, you just hear you would add the word. So trigger replies to these keywords if message is and keyword, let's just put grow for argument's sake. Now, here's where people mess up at. If message is, should always be left as it currently stands. If you put message contains, if somebody sends you a message or leave a comment with an entire sentence and that keyword is in that sentence, it's gonna start off the entire flow. You don't want that. So I'm gonna save. And then the next step is gonna be an Instagram message. So in this message, I can scroll down and I'm gonna hit user input. Here is where I can ask my question. So I can say, how old are you? and I can create the reply type. For numbers, obviously you will go to number and save response as a custom field. I would do something like plus sign age. Make sure this is added to number and then you create. Now, this is a custom field that is now within ManyChat. So every time you set this as a custom field response for age, then boom, their age is gonna be saved under their contact information. I'm gonna go through a few and make some general questions. We're gonna fast forward and I'll go through it at the end. All right, now we're back. So in the first message, I asked how old you are. And of course, we had the plus age as a custom response. Now, the second question, you, we added income. You can actually make multiple choice answers from this as well. So let's say you're when wondering how much somebody makes a month. I put 10K, 20K, 30K, and we added for income. Now, the beautiful part about this, later on, you can make conditions, meaning if somebody answers this way, then they get this message. If somebody answers this, then it gets sent here. We're not going to go into details of that because that's kind of what we already have in our mini chat course. But just imagine the type of things you can do with this information. Same with who referred you. We just added a question here and made it a, a referral custom field. And are you ready to move forward? Yes, boom. So now if you're running a business and your goal is to get leads, again, you can qualify them in mini chat first before you move on to the next section. Another way you can use mini chat is with conversation starters. So if you go to settings and then Instagram and then conversation starters, 
here are a few that I have set up. When you message someone on Instagram, normally they have some generic stuff right here. They'll have like, what hours are you open? What service you provide? And, and other things of that nature. You can create some really in-depth flows from right here. So let's say somebody wants access to my free Facebook community. Once they click that button, they get put to a flow where guess what? We give them the link to our Facebook group. So now they don't have to click the button and have somebody wait to send them a response back. This is how you're gonna get traffic without someone have to interact with you directly. The third and final way we're going to talk about mini chat is using keywords. So again, we're gonna to go to the automation section, hit new flow, start from scratch. Much like last time where we talked about the survey, we're gonna talk about specific keywords here. So go to Instagram, Instagram keyword, message contained. Remember, we wanna make sure this is message is and not message contained. So message is, we're gonna use book. Instagram. So now let's say somebody wants to book a call with you. You can simply put thanks for your interest. Here's the booking link. You add a button, you click here to open website, and you can paste your link right here. So now when they get this message, they're going to click the link and get sent directly to the booking site where they can book a time with you. And again, you didn't do any of this by hand. All of this entire process was automated. That's the power of using ManyChat. That's the power of messenger marketing. There are tons of other things you can do with e-commerce and tracking your actual sales, but for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna cover these three basic things you can do. Again, we do have an upcoming mini, uh, chat course is gonna have all those nuances in there, but for now, you can get an idea of how to really build your chat bot for your brand is gonna get you the best results possible. So I wanna thank you guys again for showing up for the video. This is Rock, and I'll see you in the next one.